Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here again. As you may know, I added a third Parabebop 2 to the drone fleet, if you will, and I made a huge mistake, and this is something that you guys must abide by. Never, ever do this, or you're going to have a big problem in your hands. Never fly Bebop 2s in cold weather. It affects the focus of your camera. I didn't think it was that cold, but it did do a job on my practically new Bebop 2. I had to perform that operation where I actually remove the complete lens. I have to remove all of the glue that keeps that lens in place in the barrel, clean it all up, and then wrap some Teflon tape around the barrel because the barrel is actually narrower in diameter than the camera barrel. Yeah, so it sort of floats there. And I think that's what causes the problem. Also, I had to add some thermal paste to the back of the camera where it actually makes contact with the heat sink, which is the aluminum part that the camera attaches to. And this is something that they have failed to do or address. And it does cause problems in cold weather. So now I have solved that. I went ahead and installed the camera again, refocused it using a tablet, as I was live viewing, make sure that the four corners were in focus as well as the center and also everything that was mid-range to infinity. And also, it just happens to also be in focus at close distances, which is fabulous. So once I finished doing that, I secured the lens barrel using the very thin cyanoacrylate glue. You have to do this very carefully. Use a needle to actually apply it and that will seal that barrel in place through that teflon tape and get it creates a very durable mount don't screw up and apply that before you make sure that the lens is actually focused it'll actually end up being focused better than the camera straight out of the box even if you did not expose it to the coal yeah you can actually do a better job and you will see here how nice the following video looks. Again, remember, do not fly the Bebop 2 or the Bebop 1 for that matter in colder than freezing temperatures. Always fly when it's warm out. In fact, you could go ahead and preemptively perform the application of the thermal paste to sort of circumvent any possibility of that happening but i still recommend that you never fly in such conditions always fly in temperate to warm weather okay thank you so much let's quickly watch the video 